Okay, I read online <clears throat> that to do the fin delete, you just turn the pump downwards, meaning pulley down, take the four bolts off the back plate, which I just did, and this is what happens. It comes apart, and the fluid comes out, and now I'm looking for fins, because I haven't done this before, but I'm walking you through it. It looks like inside there's some fins. Oh, sorry. In there, those little metal blades look like the fins. And it sounds like it's an easy, based on what everybody's saying, it's an easy elimination process. So, let's see what happens here. Oh, look at that. Looks like fins are coming right out. I'm just going to go ahead and pop these out and set them to the side just in case I need them later. I have no idea where these were supposed to be, but I'm taking them out. I don't know if there's more or what. Oh, shit, I dropped them. Okay, kind of feel for more. I don't feel any more. I don't see any in here. Interesting. Okay. That looks like that was possibly the fin removal. I'm going to take a look and then. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see it. Here we go. There's the fins. Okay, sorry this video is going so long, but this looks like the fins for the hikus. There they go. They are inside of this pump, which I could totally understand that the pump would overheat if these are not removed. This is great. Pretty straightforward if you ask me. There we go, that's all the fins removed. Now I'm just going to bolt this back together and uh, call it good. This is my R32 GTST. Currently doing a head gasket replacement because uh, it had a stock fuel pump in there and I started doing some mods. Blew the head gasket. I know that's a little too much information, but I hope this video helped you. Those are the fins and it is these four bolts that come right out of the back of the pump. Super easy. Thank you.